Okay, before we get started, we're going to take a look at some of the official resources provided by the tape test. This is from tapetest.com. It's about the tape test, the test of adult basic education from DRC and CBT. These are the companies that created the tape test. So we're going to look at some simple tips for taking the tape. So number one, guys, when you go in, be positive. Do your best. It's going to take some time maybe, but if it takes time, it'll be okay. Relax. It's normal to be nervous before taking the test. Don't worry about it. You have a lot of time to take these tests. If you don't pass it this time, you can do it again another time. Be sure you can hear the instructions and understand them. Make sure you listen very carefully to the times that are listed. Make sure that you are listening to when it's time to start, when it's time to stop. Listen to and read the directions for each test section carefully. Ask for an explanation of directions if you do not understand them. At the beginning of each test, there are sample questions. These sample questions are there to help you understand what is going on. If you don't understand what's going on, then that's the time to ask questions. Plan your time well. Each section is timed. Do not spend too much time on any one question. If it takes too long to answer a question, skip it and return to it later if time permits. First respond to all questions which you are certain of the answer. This is going to be key. The tape test is timed, but you do not lose any points for having questions unanswered, and you do not lose any points for guessing. So it's better to guess your answers. So answer all the questions you can. If you know the answer, great. If you don't, skip it. Guess an answer and just make sure to come back to it. Before answering a question, make sure you know what is being asked. For example, a test question might say, which of these is not an even number? If you read the question too quickly, you may miss the word not and answer incorrectly. A lot of these questions are going to have trap answers. Make sure that you take your time in reading them, especially if they seem oh, a little bit too easy. Do not read into the question something that is not there. There are no tri trick questions in the tape. This is a lie. There are a, a ton of trap answers, but don't let them fool you. You want to read the question exactly what is being asked. When marking your answers on a separate answer sheet, make sure you mark the circle that goes to the answer you choose. Be sure to fill in the answer circles neatly and completely. Carelessness can cause you to get a low score. If you realize you've been marking your answers in the wrong place, let us know immediately. We might give you some time to change your answers. Trust your instincts. If you know a lot about a subject, the first answer you su su select will probably be the best. When rechecking, change an answer only when you're sure the first answer choice was wrong. This part right here, guys, is very, very true. My students who go back, nine times out of ten, when they change their answers, their first answer choice was a correct answer. If you're not sure how to answer a question, rule out answer choices that you know are incorrect, then mark your best guess. Remember that the score you receive on the tape is only one way to measure your skills. The tape will show the skills you have now and those you need to learn. You cannot fail on the tape. All right. So that's the idea behind the tape test. Hopefully that you've gained some simple uh, skill tips right there. Thank you.